Curious George and the Ice Cream Surprise. Curious George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One hot afternoon, he heard jingle, jingle, jingle. What could that music be? George was curious about the melody he heard coming in through the windows. That's an ice cream truck, George, said the man with the yellow hat. You know summertime is here when you start hearing the music of the ice cream truck. George loved trucks and he loved ice cream. Ice cream would taste so good on a hot day like today. He would find his wonderful ice cream truck right away. He started to climb out the window, but his friend stopped him. George had to finish his lunch first. By the time George rushed out the door, the music was gone. Don't worry, George, the man said. The ice cream truck makes a trip around town each day, all summer long. We'll catch the ice cream truck tomorrow. The next day, it got hotter and hotter. George waited for the ice cream truck, but there was no sight or sound of it. Let's go to the pool, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George ran to get his towel. Splashing around in the pool would be a great way to beat the heat. There they are, all ready for the pool. But the pool was closed for renovation. Look on the bright side, George. By autumn, we'll have a larger pool with three diving boards. Won't that be fun? It did sound fun, but George needed to cool off now, not in the autumn. So George went back to waiting for ice the ice cream truck. He dreamed of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ice cream bars. George thought he heard the music of the ice cream truck once, but it was just a little boy's harmonica. George and his neighbors decided to go to the park to run through the sprinklers, but just as they arrived, the sprinklers were turned off. You're having some bad luck, hey? It was a long walk back home. Luckily for George, there was lemonade waiting for him on the porch. George took a drink and made a face. It was warm. Sorry, George, the man with the yellow hat said. Our freezer has decided to stop working. All our ice cubes have melted. Now would be the perfect time to hear the sweet sound of the ice cream truck. Wait, what was that? Yes, there was the truck turning the corner now. So there's the truck coming from far away. Wave it down, George. I'll be right back with my wallet. The man rushed back in, into the house. But the ice cream truck driver could not see the little monkey on the curb. The truck was not driving very quickly, but it was driving away. George looked back at his house. He looked at the truck. Then he had an idea. George climbed a tree and swung from branch to branch until he swung right into the roof of the truck. He rode the truck into town. The truck stopped beside the town park. A window on the side opened up and a small child and her mother stopped to buy ice cream. George could not believe his eyes. The little girl had ordered a frozen treat that looked exactly like a chocolate covered banana. George danced happily. He knew exactly what to order. The little girl saw him and laughed. So many people wanted ice cream that driver, that the driver ran out of change. He hurried over to the nearby bank to get more. Meanwhile, George noticed that the ice cream line was getting very long. Everyone looked hot. There was no shade to stand in. Maybe he could help. George jumped down into the truck where it was dark and cool. He grabbed as many ice cream bars, cones, and ice pops as he could. He handed them out to the waiting children, their parents, and even their pets. George worked so quickly he didn't remember to collect money for the ice cream. No one seemed to mind, except the ice cream man. What have you done? He cried when he returned. Half my ice cream is gone. George climbed up a telephone pole. George was very glad to see his friend hurrying toward the park. Hold on a minute, said a voice below. Look at how everyone is enjoying themselves. It's been the hottest summer in town history and an ice cream social is exactly what we need. It was the mayor and she offered to pay for everyone's ice cream. Thank you, George, for your great idea. I think the town should sponsor an ice cream party every summer. 
The ice cream truck driver was happy to keep serving ice cream. George and the man with the yellow hat helped. So there's everybody having their ice cream treats. The ice cream man saved the last treat for George, a chocolate covered banana sickle. Delicious. So our craft today is going to be to make an ice cream and I've made mine into a card. So if you want to send somebody a card in the summer, inviting them over for an ice cream party, you can do that. So it's easy, quick way to make a little invitation or card. So I'm just starting with a piece of blank paper. You can use whatever you color you need. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put my cone. So my cone is one of the brown pointy cones. There's different types of cones, but this would be considered a waffle cone. So I just cut a triangle out of my brown paper. So I'm going to put that on my paper. So you can decide if you want to do a folded invitation with your information for your ice cream party or if you want to just make a poster. So there's the start of my cone. Now I'm just going to take my marker and I'm going to draw some lines to make it look like a waffle cone because waffle cones always have like a grid pattern on them. So I'm going to do that with my marker. So there's my waffle cone. And then for the scoops of ice cream, I'm using uh, cupcake papers. So if you have colored cupcake papers at home, you can use those too. That'll be different flavors of ice cream. So I've got some brown, which I'm going to call my chocolate ice cream. And I've got some white. And then on my white scoop, I'm going to make some decorations and make it an interesting flavor of ice cream. So I'm just going to glue my back of my cupcake papers. And I'm going to put that on top of my waffle cone. And then I'm going to put my second scoop, so this is going to be a double scoop of ice cream of my chocolate. And I'm going to add that on top of my cone. So I've got a double scoop of ice cream there. Like I did on my invitation, I'm going to add some decorations. You can make bubblegum ice cream. If I add some red to my chocolate, it could be chocolate cherry ice cream. So I'm going to do that. The um, liquid glue might work better on the cupcake papers. So this is going to be my chocolate cherry ice cream. And then down below, if you want to have just plain vanilla, you can do that. Or you can add some other colors. I'm going to add some colored ones and I'm going to make it into bubble gum. That's one of my kids' favorite ice creams is bubble gum. So you can Add those. And there you go. And once you've got all the candies or cherries or bubble gum in there that you want, you can either write on the back to make it into an invitation saying you're invited to my ice cream party, or you can just hang it up as a poster for a reminder of a hot summer ice cream day.